evening, everybody. It's Greg, and it's another edition of Unbreakable Podcast. Well, it's Tuesday. No, it's not. It's Thursday, March 21st. This, to me, when I was a kid, after 18 years being two, was always the first official in the school. And we used to change stuff. But it doesn't feel like we can put some in we got to get one little freezing more class, and that's supposed to be freezing again tonight. I bet. What the hell's going on? So, how about that? Leave harmless. Leave harmless or whatever the hell it is. Uh, Leave harmless. Shows up, testifies in front of the college system. I am glad to this guy. Was not taking any prisoners. <laughs> Jesus, he got in there and he started naming names. Oh, God. he was there like, and said in the judge, so here we spoke. In the week, so didn't even get one of these people. Oh, God, it's going to happen. Anyway, that's the one with our sentence. They'll get it for me. Maybe they'll give me one little, one minute. So, today, you know why I got my football in the way? I was the start of the NC team. March 9th. You know what that means, don't you? Nobody's really to Nobody. Everybody's keeping an eye on the bracket. You know, putting on the last bets there. You know, I. The sports radio stations, guys calling and say, we're all huddling about 15 of us. We're all huddled up in a hotel room. And uh, I know that sounds funny. But we're all here because we're going to watch the uh, March Madness game starting at 1230 today. We're all going to bet and we're all going to drink and we're all going to have a good time. So, but you're not getting much work done today. You might as well just say it's a holiday. Today and tomorrow. I do. And speaking of sports, did you hear about this? First of all, what the hell are they doing starting the baseball season in Korea? I know. The, the baseball season starts with Dodgers, Padres. Dodgers won yesterday, playing today. But, uh, you know, I get it that baseball must become this global sport. They want to spread baseball all over the world. But we start the season in Korea, really? Which means that the game started at 6.30 in the morning here in, on the East Coast. Which means that in San Diego and in Los Angeles, the two home cities, the teams that they really don't care about, the Dodgers and the Padres, it's 3.30 in the friggin' morning. 3.30. So all these fans have to get up at 3.30 to watch the, 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 the Padres and the Dodgers, the season opener, the second game. It's stupid. I understand. That's the only time they could go over there. You're not going to go over the season, uh, even though the Phillies are going to London in, in June. Um, I get that. But it's just stupid to start the season a week ahead of the other teams and starting in the career. Stupid, stupid, stupid baseball. Stupid. I love baseball, but it's stupid. And did you hear about this shoddy and toddy? Yeah. I don't know. Now, they're saying his interpreter ripped them off for like, what, $4 million in gambling fees. But there's something uh, shady about it. Originally, the story is the interpreter, uh, Otani, gave him the money to pay off his gambling debts. I don't know about that. First of all, uh, really, the interpreter spent that much money on gambling? Otani must be a nice guy, but to give him his interpreter, and I know the clerks, like, all these millions of dollars to pay off his gambling debts. Something's just not right here, you know? 
I'd hate to see you know, Tiny's a popular guy who just signed this new contract with the Dodgers. I really, really hate to see that it's a Tiny who's got to be out of the problem. And the key question was, what are they gambling on? Is it baseball? Oh, hello, Pete Rose. Hello, Pete Rose. You know, it, uh, it just doesn't look right. You know, there's something out right there. I'm sure we're going to hear more about this story than we do. But, hey, I mean, you know, baseball, I think baseball is just climbing out of a hole. The games are faster. Uh, the schedule means that uh, teams play each other, which kind of makes it more exciting. And uh, I don't know. Like, baseball seems to be coming back a little bit. <laughs> now you got the, hello, bud, wherever you are in the house. Uh, baseball is just... Uh, you know, this is another black eye on baseball, but let's see what happens, right? Everybody's in a certain period yet until the beginning. Wow. But I'm sure this is a story that's going to we'll hear more of it. All right, well, that's it for today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. I love Lucy and Chewy and Hostel. That's a lot of fun. Pictures. Next week, um, we'll see what we're going to talk about. I don't know. We'll come up with a classic TV show. Oh, and uh, it sounds like Bud wants to learn a little short last Well, he'll be in tomorrow. Really. Trust me. Um, oh. uh, yes, Bud, yes, yes. I'm sending you a telegraph message, a tele tele telepathic message. Hello, Bud. Hello. Oh. Uh, yeah. Anyway, and I'm going to start, get, uh, start getting ready to watch the. Uh, Watch Madness too. I don't know who's going to win the two of them. Right? I mean, I'm kind of thinking UConn or Arizona. One of those two. So I'm thinking maybe one of them. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, everybody, have a great day. Whether you're watching basketball or whether you're out and about or whatever you do, stay warm, stay safe. Have a great day. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Peace and love, and Take care. Bye-bye.